Hey guys, Mix here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Godzilla 2019 figure from NECA. Here's the front side of the box. You can see the profile or the artwork of Godzilla, the logo, and his what kind of figure you're getting. Godzilla here, Monsterverse. The side, you can see all the various writings and more of the same artwork up front. At the back, you can see here the actual picture of the figure, and along with some promo pictures of Rodan, Mothra, and the version 2 Godzilla with the atomic blast. On the other side, it says Godzilla, King of the Monsters, measures 12 inch head to tail, hinged jaw, over 25 points of articulation. Now opening the flip cover, here is another picture, same one as here, the back, oh no, no not really. But mostly the same profile. I already removed my figure. You're going to see it later. But that's about it on the box. So let's move on to the figure. So here is the Big G himself from NECA. And as you can see, the first thing that stood out, the second I took it out of the box, are the white eyes. This is the part where most people have been complaining about this figure. I think they're googly or something. So this is the part where most people are complaining about the eyes and also the teeth. You see that my eyes here are not different from those they're complaining about. The eyes are everywhere, <laughs> looking everywhere. And also the paint job on the teeth is terrible. You can see more gums than the actual teeth. See here and also mine has a very very bad overbite. See here. Overall, you can see the amazing sculpt NECA has put into this figure. There. See the chest? I'm gonna focus it here. Get the chest, the thighs, the feet. And you can see the dorsal plates. Individually sculpted again. It looks amazing. Here, going on to the tail. Also, the other side. It has that very much um, that um, grayish sheen to it, thanks to the new color scheme they did. See there. For the articulation of this figure, the head could move up this high and look down that low. The mouth opens serviceably wide. Why won't mine open? There we go. Neck could swivel if you take note of that dorsal plate over there. Could swivel a bit there. But it could twirl. His arms could spread this far. Uh, like this and could turn a full 360. The arm could fold until this high and the hand could spin around and um, do some waves. It spins around like that. Torso. Torso could lean forward or look back lean back but when leaning forward you can see the break over here the legs couldn't spread far couldn't spread that far but could spin a full 360 again you can see it breaks the sculpt the knee could bend this far and also go straight and the feet the feet the foot No, it could stop by this part, but could twist until that far. Mostly like that. For the tail, this is the first time that NECA decided to put ball joints on their tails and not the bendy wires. See here, there's a segment here, there, there, here, and there. 
Shit. So, okay. Going back. See here, another ball joint here, so it could bend another this far. But, and now for some size comparison. Here he is next to his 2014 counterpart. Here he is next to his Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla version. Here he is with his SH Monster Arts counterpart. And here he is next to his teeny tiny version of the 1954 Godzilla, which is scaled correctly. So there's my review of the 2019 Godzilla by NECA. And I'm about a bit mixed about it. I love the sculpt, the new paint application, but there are some shortcomings. The overbite, the eyes, the easily detachable tails, and maybe some minor, yeah, the jaw here. But overall, I'm okay with this. And I'm looking forward for their uh, supercharged Godzilla, the burning one near the final act of the movie. So I'm, I'm gonna looking forward to reviewing that one. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you do subscribe and you'll see more of these figures or the reviews of these figures soon.